Let's now bless now. Don't forget the rest now, people. We're signing in. Okay. Bury your dead. Yo, I ain't got no contacts in. I don't know where my glasses are. I'm hungover. So you're going to have to be very patient with me today, all right? So this one is the debut LP from the band Bury Your Dead. Um, I've never really dived into this record before, right? The mate was proper into them. Um, I know that they, you know, were a decent, well-established act. Um, let me just double check something here. Okie dokie. Yeah, I, I know that they were a well-established act to um, a certain degree. I don't hear them referenced too much in this day and age. Um, I don't really know what to expect from them. I know they were a beatdown band, but I'm assuming I'm going to hear more of a heavy hardcore than your traditional, um, you know, slamming beatdown sort of style stuff. But I don't know. Anyway, this uh, record is entitled You Had Me At Hello, which I think is a bit corny. I think this band has a little bit of a, um, you know, jokey substance from time to time, at least when it comes to the song title. And I think, um, you know... I just don't like to, to, to see that too much when it comes to ignorant mosh music, in all fairness. Uh, I'm not into having a laugh and a joke when it comes to all that sort of stuff. So anyway, without further ado, I'm not going to prejudge any further. This one's entitled Sunday's Best. And let's go, let's go. Yeah, um, I don't know if it's the production value in particular, uh, but this has got a very, hold on, this has got a very 2000s feel to me, uh, very 2000s sound, uh, definitely on your, uh, you know, the best breakdowns of 2010 compilation. And this and that. This was earlier. This is like mid uh, 2000s, isn't it? This was put out potentially. Definitely got that sound. If it's this isn't as early as the 90s, this can't be. Anyway, let's keep it moving. I think the band Pay No Respect came a little after, uh, but that's that sort of vibe I got given from here. And with the Chuggies, a little bit like of a First Blood Breakdown-esque sort of vibe. I reckon this band is in Drop C tuning, potentially. Alright, come on. Yeah, we are a beatdown band. Yeah, here we go. We are a beatdown band. Let's go. Yeah, this band is definitely one that has to have been thrown on my top 10 breakdown compilation. Uh, videos back in the day. People need to continue doing them, to be honest.
Cool, let's keep it moving. Um, I have a feeling that we've heard the band at this point. I'd be surprised if the band strays too far from this sound from here on. Uh, I mean, they've got what they need. It's just organic, down-tuned, heavy, hardcore vibes, isn't it? This next one's entitled Tuesday Night Fever, so without further ado, there's King of the Pit TV. We're listening to You Had Me At Hello, the uh, debut record from Bury Your Dead. This is track 2 of 10 entitled Tuesday Night Fever. Let's get into it. Let's keep it moving, come on. I think this band was just made for the pit, wasn't it? This is a pit band right here. On a side note, uh, whilst I was finding a couple of images, I might use it in the thumbnail actually, if that's the one I ended up with. Uh, I found the picture of the front man, he looked like a beast. Front man of this band looks like a tank. <laughs> Here we go. Where are we going? Yo, here in the UK, I don't know if it was a particular period when I started to get into hardcore and mosh music, but here in the UK, everybody's first band sounds like this, man. Especially if you came in through metal to hardcore, you didn't come up listening to punk music. Because there's nothing better. It tends to be the mosh that brings people in, innit? Fucking hell. This is a bit better than the push parties I'm used to. So you create a mosh band, but you keep that metal in there. So you drop, you keep them guitars drop tuned, like I did with my Ibanez S S S, -S E series, I think it was. That was a that was a quality guitar. Drop tune your guitars, keep them like that. You can continue chugging. Everyone likes chugging. Ignore the punk side of things. Let's just make a mosh band, man. Come on. There was a lot of bands, including my first band, that did heavy hardcore drop tunes. Chugfest Mosh Axe. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that breakdown reminded me of there. Um, I think the music video got taken off of YouTube and it's understandable. Uh, anybody know that um, band Facecast? They did a music video called Wife Beater. Uh, does anybody know that one? That that's that's a meme and a half. That that <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. But uh, that that was a classic laugh. That. Here we go. Yeah, this band's heavy. We got about three to four breakdowns in every tune. I've only listened to two tunes so far. Quality, I, yeah, this one is uh, Dragged Out and Shot, that's an ignorant title that, 
Let's keep it moving. There's King of the Pit TV. This is track 3 of 10. We're listening to Bury Your Dead's first record. Kind of heavy, I'm not going to lie to you. Kind of heavy. This one's entitled Dragged Out and Shot. Ignorant, come on. Let's go. This um, little section, just before it changed sections there on this, um, what is it, is it a China he's hitting? That was quite unique. Wait for it. Dun, 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 dun. I've never heard that before, that's unique. Come on, come on. It's funny how, in my circle, this band isn't referenced, like, at all anymore. Because, I wouldn't say they were ahead of their time, but... This sound, like with the panic chords we got going on now, it's so common and prevalent in today's popular bands, like the leading bands that are headlining these festivals. I'm surprised that Berea Dead don't get a little bit of homage to that. There we go. There we go. Let's keep it moving. We got uh, so fucking blues today, which it don't really make sense to me. I don't really know uh, what that means. I'm an island boy. So fucking blues. This is track number four of ten. Uh, I might be a little more energized uh, at this part as opposed to the uh, three tracks that we started this record on because I've woken up. I've been out in the rain, as you can tell by my hair. Um, I put my contact lenses in, I had to go take a car to get my contacts in, so there we go, that's the story of my life. Um, I popped by the shops to get a cheap energy drink as well, because you know it's not kicking a bit TV unless I'm sipping on some rubbish. Uh, this is a 79 pence Rockstar Exdurance, okay, not Endurance, Exdurance. So this one is so fucking blues, which I don't get, the, the, the name is nonsensical to me, uh, but I bet there's a chuggy section, I bet there's a breakdown, let's go. When I wake up, the real nightmare begins. Initially, I said I reckon this band's in drop uh, C, but there's a potential it's in drop D. Holds up, doesn't it? Does it? Do, do we? Do we have a release date on this record? Let me just check. Oh, 2000 and oh, released in 2001. Wow, wow, 2001. It this this sound holds up to this day. I reckon. It sounds a little bit like terror.
That China sounds sick. I mean, if you enjoy this sound, you'll really enjoy the band because we don't stray too far off of what the band is. If you know where I'm coming from, uh, we're not reinventing the the wheel with these riffs here, but uh, what they do, they do it well enough. They do it well enough for me. I used to be really into a band called Guns Up, and that that was you could call them a. Um, a rip off of what's their name? Oh, what's what's that? No one and no one in tribute act. They were basic mosh band, but what they did, they did really well, and I really enjoyed that. So, you know, I can feel the same vibe here with Bury Your Dead. I like it when his voice breaks every once in a while and you get this sort of um, this faint fleeting desperation and it comes and it goes you know what I mean I like that when the voice breaks and the uh, the shout comes in as opposed to the growl right let's keep it moving burn baby burn next Disco Inferno Burn baby burn da, 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 da. There's King of the Pit TV We're listening to Bury Your Dead's You Had Me at Hello record uh, This is track 10 No it's not track 10 5 out of 10 people Don't get me gassed This is Burn Baby Burn This might be the best riff off of the record so far. This metal car as hell. Kind of sounds like a verging on a death car riff. I'll be fair, I've not really acknowledged or picked up on any of the lyrical content. If you're a fan of uh, Bury Your Dead, does the lyrical content mean that much to you? Because to me it's just been breakdowns and, you know, growled vocals. That's been about it for me, just like vocal patterns as opposed to, um, you know, actual lyrical content. I don't which is why I feel the song titles and the jokey sort of like aspect of that um, detracts from the band because musically, uh, instrumentally, 
I'm hearing something hard and ignorant and some of that you might want to mosh to, but the sort of like piss take song titles, um, devalue that a lot, especially because I'm not listening to the actual lyrical content. So they could have like quite, um, you know, there could be a meaning or something, something that touches me within the songs. But considering I can't really hear it too much, I'm just going to go off by the song titles and just think, you know, I just think, I think the song titling is a bit corny to be fair. My opinion, don't mosh me out. That was nice. I think we might have had the best breakdown and the best riff in that one song. Oh, burn, baby, burn. We got 33 RPM next. Okay. RPM tends to stand for revolutions per minute, but I think in this case it probably has a uh, separate meaning. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? There's King of the Pit TV. This is 33 RPM. We're listening to You Had Me At Hello. I've got nothing else to say. Let's keep it moving. Come on. You're listening to King of the Pit TV. I think Some bang in there. We got two guitars as well in the mix. I assume they've got two guitars uh, live as well. They don't really utilize two guitars as well as they could do. Um, there's no like lead sections and rhythm sections and so forth it really just is the guitars are just full speed ahead on the riff like all on the same riff Let's go. come on that's heavy That was quite inventive. No. We do have some octave chords there atop of the uh, power chords. Cool. 
There we go. Let's keep it moving. What more else do I have to comment on? I mean, Don't um, advertise on it is what it says on the tin. We're burying the dead here. We're burying the dead in the pit. We're spin kicking. This one's entitled Camo is my favorite color. There's King of the Pit TV. This one's entitled Camo is my favorite color. Um, we've got a relatively uh, high bump in the view count as opposed to the other songs. So uh, this might be an anthem for the Mosh Warriors. Uh, for the Hexy Mosh Warriors with their camo shorts on. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Yeah, I heard uh, Fury... F was it? No, not Fury Fest. That's a UK thing. Uh, Furnace Fest happened as of recent, 2022. Hey, everyone and their mother was wearing camo shorts at this event. I love these sort of breakdown leads up lead ups. Cause I'd never experienced it from where I am. But <laughs> oh when 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 I got into um watching loads of live footage uh, of hardcore bands, I'd see so much um, American stuff with the mosh like like in school. <laughs> oh I'm sorry people. Oh god, you don't need to see that. Uh, moshing in like school halls and like churches and stuff like that. Yeah, I just had to pause myself then. Sorry, people. Um, you don't want to be seeing me sneezing all day. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I used to like build ups to breakdowns of that. Reminiscent of the time I used to get absorbed when I was a teenager getting into hardcore, looking at um, the American like uh, school hall footage. And the people going side to side, and you know, maybe just walking from side to side, like with a with a um, a worrisome demeanor on their face, just looking fierce and stuff like that. And I always associate this particular style of sound with, uh, you know, that image in my head. Of course, all the lights are on, no darkness whatsoever, and then we'll have, you know. I'll be, I'll be waiting for the two bomb because I, I I like two stepping back in the day. I thought that was the coolest thing ever, man. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Sing along pylons as well. Quality. Yo, I'm gonna check out some Seventh Dagger stuff after this, cause this is reminiscent of some of the bands on that label. Just ignorant mosh metal, man. Listen to some Straight Edge. Put on your dancing shoes, it's time to rock. It's time to rock, baby. Let's keep it moving. 69 times a charm, mofo. We ain't messing about. ASOS, partnered with Adidas. Or Adidas, you tell me which one's which. There's King of the Pit TV. Let's keep things moving. 69 times a charm. You know who we're listening to. You know what record we're listening to. Come on. Track 8. Just do 
I do like it when um, heavy hardcore slash beatdown acts delve into that death metal space with the tremolo picking. <laughs> Double kicks going mad at this point. Cool. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing out of the ordinary at this point. I mean, I told you right from the get-go, we, we had heard everything they had to offer from the first song. And I don't say that to detract from the record, but, you know, it's either... If I really loved this sound, I'd be having a whale of a time all the way through. But it's not necessarily my taste. Uh, I do appreciate it, though. I do appreciate it, though. I just would change the um, song titles. You know what I mean? Remove a little bit of the jokey value. Just add a little more ignorance to it and then I'd think, wow, I bet it kicks off in the pit. But I I feel like it wouldn't kick off to that degree in the pit. Purely as, you know, there's this air of like being a clown that comes with band. Regardless, there's King of the Pit TV. This one's a total 10 minute romance. Track 9 or 10, let's go. Come on. Come on, in your kitchen, everyone. Circle pit, come on. No more heart. Crouching sauce. Let all our rivers run. Let's wipe out this way. From that pretty face. That pretty fucking I mean, I'd say 40% of this record is just breakdown. So if you ever wanted to practice your moshing, you gotta get this record on. To be fair with you, if you want, <laughs> if you wanted to, if you wanted to get your spin kicks on point, you blast this out of a boombox down on your local field, mate. We're all born into this world. Whoa, whoa. That's a hard riff. Has to be a little sing along section, right? Did they have this in the set? We're 
Keep it moving. Mosh and roll next, people. Last track. So, I wonder if we're pulling anything out of the bag for this one. Because, you know, it's a mosh band. And the last track is where we throw the final mosh. So, it's the final countdown. There's King of the Pit TV. We're finishing off the You Had Me at Hello record. This one's entitled Mosh and Roll. Know a fellow who's got mosh and roll tattooed on his stomach, mate. This one goes out to him. Let's go. Stem vibes again. That American, American uh, school gym, side to side in your shorts in your. XXS uh, t-shirt on. Maybe throw a baseball cap on if you're lucky. Here we go. Come on. Yes. They should have had more of these gang chants in the record. These are really good gang chants. They sound organic and aggro as hell. Yo, know, if you had a mate called Barry as well, you could say, oh, listen to this mate saying, Barry, you're fucking dead. Could be a death threat to Barry. Want we do it again? Is this just a repeat of the same bit? Oh, we got a guest vocal on there. I mean, it's a bit of a piss take, uh, which I don't like, but there, there's some great vocals in there. Uh, that vibe's got me on to perhaps listening to a little bit of Life Ruiner come next. A little bit of early Life Ruiner, what do you think? I'm signing out. That was Bury Your Dead. That was an interesting experience. Yeah, if by any chance a Bury Your Dead fan has come across this, drop me a comment. I'm signing out. One